Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, December 7th, 2020. Yes, please keep in mind that this is, gen this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, time is an illusion, energies are fluid, so just because this is specifically dated for the 7th of of January, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate at that time for you, okay? this These readings are timeless. This can resonate at any moment. Um, I use the date of, the, you know, the physical date as just a way of organizing things. But in reality, I think if you were to like go back on morning coffee, like say go back over the year and maybe see if there are some other messages out there for you, I would pay more attention to the title than the date, okay? Okay, awesome. <clears throat> I really don't have anything to start with. So let's get into the collective energies for today. So as soon as I sat down, I said, okay, collective, what's going on here? Um, I saw yellow. Okay, so that's been the color for the collective for the longest, well, not for the longest time, but for a good amount of time. Um, uh, color, the color yellow is, uh, 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 represents action, the masculine, um, power, drive, your willpower, your solar plexus. Um, so that could be your digestive system, your your physical body, like your, your muscles and your uh, energy levels. Um, willpower also. And that's really been the, the theme for the collective right now. It's um, using our will for the highest good of all or for maybe for a higher purpose, maybe something different than you may have been using it, it for in the past. Um, and then as I started shuffling the cards, I saw brown, which indicates grounding. Um, grounding specifically did come out in an oracle message sometime last week. Unfortunately, I don't remember which reading it was. Um, <laughs> and it would that would be a lot to go back and look at. But anyway, just suffice it to say that it did come out. It was a central, it was a, a, a collective message last week. It was an oracle message. Um, and so right now I feel like with the yellow and the brown, there is still an effort to bring something into fruition, bring something. I literally just heard bring something into this plane or this plane of existence, the third dimensional plane, third dimensional reality, manifest something. Um, from a higher state of consciousness down into the, into the, uh, physical realms. Um, but with that said, I do feel like it's still in the process of manifesting, which shouldn't be really any surprise. It doesn't, it, that, that makes perfect sense. And that's not a bad thing. Um, you know, it's just still in the process of it, but someone here, uh, right now, what I'm feeling is someone is in going through the, uh, an awakening process. An overall energy here, you have the hermit with the seven of swords on the other side of the deck. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, I want to see what this other side of the seven of swords looks like. Okay. It's not really important. However, the chariot is under the seven of swords and that actually makes that kind of fits with what I was picking up on. You see on this side of the seven of swords, you have an individual that seems to be escaping or trying to escape some sort of encampment, some sort of military camp. Um, and I, I don't really feel like this is indicative of any sort of deception, anyone being truly being deceptive at this moment. What I feel like here is someone is breaking free or is making an attempt or is in a process of breaking free from some sort of uh, deception, lies, cheating, maybe, maybe wearing some sort of mask, um, keeping up appearance in some way. There are a few indicators of that between the, high, the, the, the hermit energy here Okay, you have this hermit, which is about uh, deep inner um, soul work, deep diving, um, walking your own path, <clears throat> um, uncovering your own individual light and letting that shine forward. Um, and on this side of the card, it really does look like this hermit is leading the way in some way or this hermit is m moving in some new direction. Okay, um, I feel like this is an energy where you have been really doing some deep soul searching, some deep diving within, um, and you've come to a certain awareness or some certain sort of truths of your of yourself, for yourself, 
by your own self, right? And, and that's causing you to leave some sort of deceptive tendencies behind or maybe some sort of deceptive environment. This feels more than just you giving up some deceptive ways. This really, at the core, this truly feels like you or maybe someone else that you're connected with, but I'm just gonna keep saying you, okay? I'm just gonna keep speaking to whomever it is that I'm channeling this for. <clears throat> It really feels like you are in the process of leaving behind old circumstances, old situations, old environments that kept you stuck in uh, a deceptive energy, okay? Now, again, I want to reiterate that this is not just you being deceptive. This was you being affected by or influenced by a certain environment that was deceptive that only influenced you and the others who tangled with that energy to remain in this deceptive energy of wearing this sort of mask keeping up some sort of appearance keeping up with some sort of status quo that really no longer serves you or any of us however the difference between you and the rest of the people that are still in that energy is the fact that you have come to a certain higher awareness that is influencing or causing you to break free okay Let's get into the cards that fell out on the table. You have the Page of Wands, all right? So those of you that have been following me for some time, you know that I, I view the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Hermit, okay? And so with that said, there is definitely some sort of energy of re-identifying yourself in the physical realm, all right? Bringing some sort of really deceptive or destructive situation to an end. Ten of Swords. With the hanged man here, you are really breaking free from some sort of indoctrination because this side of the hanged man is depicted as these two gentlemen here. If it would ever focus, why don't you focus? Why won't you just focus? Damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. You see those two men that are standing there with, that are like standing there in awe of the, the hanged man here? Those two gentlemen were the two individuals that were being indoctrinated by the Hierophant. And when you get to this point in, you know, in the cycle, at least in this deck, it comes to a point where you start to see that, oh, wow, there is another way of seeing things. There is another point of view, or there are, maybe if it's not just one other way of of, of perceiving something of perceiving of something or of you know walking a certain path or whatnot it could be just the fact that your eyes are opening up to the infinite amount of paths or the infinite um sources of opportunity and the infinites of of abundance that is available to you blah 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 whatnot whatever throughout the universe okay this is really this is really good energy it might be pretty challenging. Um, you might have to stand up for something or to someone. But this is definitely an energy of breaking free, which is really, really good. Now, the other thing that I was picking up on with this um, Page of Wands energy here is there might be, there might, there may be some messages that you need to send um, in order to, you know, really solidify this new identity. Some of you actually might have, be having trouble with that, with actually speaking the truth of what you've learned or what you've grown into. And I'm getting that that's because you're still dealing with some of the effects of the toxic environment that you are working on freeing yourself from here, by, represented by this Ten of Swords energy, okay? But ultimately, you really are breaking free here. And I really do feel like there is a conscious effort to leave some sort of deceptive tendencies and or environments that um, influence you to behave in deceptive ways. I really feel like there's a very strong focus towards leaving that behind you, leaving that in your past and moving forward in, in an effort to be live in more with more integrity and authenticity, okay? That's really nice. That's really, really nice. All right, guys. So let's reset here. And then we will see what else we have for the collective. Now, so how this pertains to what I was seeing in the beginning with the yellow and the, and the brown, the grounding of your willpower, the grounding of this new identity. Um, 
it's like you're pulling in that energy or you're you've 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 found that energy within yourself and now you're grounding it into your physical reality so that you can embody more of it okay so the more you can really focus on grounding yourself grounding your energy staying calm staying um level staying balanced uh keeping your mind in check specifically the better off you will be the easier a time you will have this is what i'm hearing um the more effective and potent all of this will be for you okay last shuffle okie dokie let's get into the rest of it for today Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, December, oh, December, no, Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. But you know what's really interesting? I have been wanting, I've been like almost saying December all morning, um, even before I actually started recording. And it's very, I find that to be very interesting. Um, and even while I was doing the prayer just now, I almost said December. I, I did say December, but I almost said 2019. I feel like... There's an old, uh, for some of you, there's an old toxic element or something, something, there's something that happened in December. Um, maybe there, maybe you became aware of something being toxic and you chose to start going within to figure out how to get away from it or to figure out why it's a part of your life. Maybe something happened in December that catalyzed some sort of shift within you. And now that's leading you towards this new beginning. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. I believe. Oh, shoot. I've lost count. I'm just going to give this one more shuffle then. Because I totally lost count, but it's okay. This feels right. Alrighty. You guys have to excuse me. I am... Um, I'm feeling a little drained today. I woke up at three in the morning and fell back asleep and had a few dreams. And when I woke up at like, I don't know, 6.30ish, um, I was feeling really drained and kind of meh. So my energy is like a little, a little subdued today. I apologize, but I'm okay. I promise. I just kind of just want to go back to bed. But... <laughs> Anyway, let's see what we've got for today. Tuesday, January 7th. What's going on with the collective here? <laughs> Tuesday, January 7th. One more shuffle, please. Okay. One more, and then we'll see what we've got. As usual, my eyes are closed, so I don't know what's fallen out yet. Ooh, okay. Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. What do you have for us today, Spirit? And I'm spent. Okay. Ooh, overall energy is the Magician. With the Three of Cups on the other side. And this side of the Three of Cups uh, is giving me an energy of a celebration, maybe even a reunion, a coming together, a party, something like that. Um, celebration, magician. Someone is really, someone's really in the process of manifesting. So, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, this is reversed. This is reversed. Interesting. Okay, so. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of communication energy and you know what is so funny um 
I don't remember what it, I think it was at some point while I was clearing up the, the pre shuffle energies, Hey, you focus at some point while I was clearing up the pre shuffle energies, I saw the Knight of cups and the Knight of wands. And it seems here that they have come back out and they came out together. And it's funny because when I saw them before I, I saw them together. All right. So that's kind of cool. That did come out. I like that. Um, okay. So revelation is what I'm hearing. Uh, um, um, re revelation, uh, Coming to a new understanding, seeing something clearer. Look, you do have the hermit, I'm sorry, not the hermit, the hanged man again. Um, and it's the same side of the card. And you have the ace of swords here. So someone sees something much clearer, you, whomever, you might, you're seeing something much clearer than you may have in the past. Okay. And it seems that there is some sort of communication that's wanting to be had potentially. Um, uh, that that is, seems to be bringing uh, that maybe bringing an end to a conflict. Page of Swords with the Three of Swords in reverse, um, and then you have the Tower. All right, so and maybe this is maybe this is not communication for you. Maybe this is just a situation or a circumstance or a realization, i.e., revelation that may have brought an end to some sort of pettiness or some sort of heartbreak um and now you, you it's like you're moving forward you're desiring to move forward with confidence and love but uh, an open heart maybe um maybe if it's not necessarily just love it's an open heart for you um you have to bear with me here guys a little bit because i am i am i'm this is getting this I'm, I'm kind of drawing some blanks here because i'm trying to understand why we have the backside of the knight of cups here there's some sort of secrecy in terms of maybe a heart's desire maybe that maybe it's just not completely communicated yet but that doesn't feel like it's a problem because coupled with this knight of wands here which is you know in daylight okay um Yes, I do. I do see that they're going in opposite directions. However, what I'm really picking up here is someone is moving forward, potentially with their heart on their sleeve, but maybe not, maybe not fully, not fully having, have, com having communicated exactly what it is they intend to fulfill within their heart. However, I do feel like someone is really moving forward. Someone has been activated. Someone is really working on manifesting something that's either going to bring an end to some sort of pettiness, some sort of fighting, some sort of heartbreak, maybe some even some sort of long-standing heartbreak, um, or there is a catalyst that has happened that is now bringing that is now bringing this to a close. That's what I'm getting with this tower energy. Okay. Um, now it could also be that maybe there was something that happened in December. Maybe there was some, maybe there was some form of communication or maybe there was some sort of, um, I don't know, whatever that really catalyzed the ending of something. And now someone is in the process of really moving forward towards what it is they truly desire. Okay. The overall energy here is the, the magician. So master manifester as above, so below. Yes, and that's kind of what we've been talking about here with this energies of grounding something into the physical, bringing something of a spirit from the spiritual reality down into the physical plane. Okay, making ma making something real, making something manifest. You have the three of cups here. Also, this is an energy of celebration. This could be something that something that you may have really wanted for a long time. Um, something that I really feel like, and what I heard is the universe is really cheering you on for something that is really destined to be. Um, it could have been in the past, it may have looked like it wasn't ever going to happen, like there was absolutely no hope. And now there is, there has been some sort of shift where it seems like it could actually be possible. It seems like it could work. It could come true. And thus someone here is in this energy of, well, shit, then let's do it. Let me like, like, let's make this happen. Then if, if, if you're, if you're saying there's a chance, then let's fucking do this. You know what I mean? Now, the other energy that I'm getting with the Three of Cups here is of is an energy of gratitude. I do feel like there's a strong sense of gratitude um, 
for maybe a second chance or some resurgence of something, maybe some sort of resurgence of some creative energy or something like that, creative drive. But there's definitely an energy of being grateful here, okay? With that three of cups. No, I'm not really picking up on any third party energies. Like, no, I'm picking up on celebration and reconnection, uh, rekindling of a relationship maybe, or like a union, something like that. Okay. All right, let's get into some clarifiers here. I want to talk about Page of Swords and Three of Swords, both in reverse with the Tower. Hmm. Okay. All right, one more shuffle. All right, so Spirit, what do you, what do you have to say about this? Page of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Tower here. What is? Let's let's get some clarification on this. What is this for you? Four of Cups, Temperance. Okay, I'm going to take the top three cards here. Four of Cups with Temperance. Queen of Cups. Hierophant. Five of Cups. Ooh! With the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, yes, so. Here we go. Um, there was a period in which there may have been a missed opportunity um uh some sort of unrequited love situation someone there was a maybe an offer in the past that was put out there but wasn't accepted um and that led to a great amount of loss a great amount of heartbreak um okay you see wow this is really whoa okay so check it out you have this individual on the four of cups here who is sitting there with all those you know with those three cups in front of them right and there was an offer of love that maybe maybe an offer of love but i don't know an offer of commitment i don't know whatever some sort there was some sort of offer or opportunity that came forward but this person didn't take it because they were so focused on the three of cups right which um represents like we said in the overall energy here represents uh can represent uh, union celebration gratitude parties social so social circles social networks whatnot whatever it does feel like here someone was really too focused on you or someone else was really too focused on their social environment okay whatever the three of cups energy was for them at that time and thus an opportunity was not taken advantage of was not taken on and thus that led to heartbreak um and maybe guilt shame regret remorse whatnot whatever but it led to a period of mourning that needed to happen in which those three cups that someone was so focused on ended up spilling out. And now all you have left is the two cups behind you, right? Which are now depicted here in the high, in the, the temperance energy where the two are now being integrated or, or rebalanced or re-alchemized. I kind of feel like this is all a past energy like I, I kind of feel like the balance has already started or it's already well underway i don't feel like this is a new this is a new balancing act or this is a new phase of alchemical transmutation okay um uh bop, 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 bop. and then you have the two individuals you have the queen of cups here and the king of cups underneath the deck all right so i mean yeah we could totally be talking counterparts here <laughs> i mean those, i i apologize for any of you that don't necessarily resonate with that because that just keeps on coming out it just keeps coming out all right um so if that doesn't resonate with you then i sincerely apologize uh but I, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna roll with it um now, 
the Hierophant originally, especially since we have both the King and the Queen of Cups here, the Hierophant was originally giving me a, an energy of some sort of marriage or some sort of union, okay? Um, but also, this could be applied to the fact that there, there was some sort of indoctrination or some sort of conformity that potentially was in the way in the past that led to this unrequited love or that led to this missed opportunity and, and ultimately led to this time of mourning um, and loss, regret, shame, fear, remorse. And it was ultimately something that both this king and this queen felt or went through. With the king of cups being in the overall energy, I feel like we're speaking to the masculine here, okay? that could be wanting to come forward, that could be wanting to make some sort of um, uh, some sort of communication here, uh, sh share some sort of communication. Um, but, but it could have been from the feminine here who ultimately went through this purging and mourning process first um, and was able to rise above and was able to get into really anchor herself or himself, really. We're just talking energy, not gender, but was really able to anchor themselves in this Queen of Cups, uh, unconditionally loving, highly compassionate, empathic, you know, very, very spiritually connected, whatnot, whatever, maybe even psychic or strongly intuitive. Um, but this individual was, individual was able to rise above all of this heartbreak, heartbreak and pain, especially whatever is represented here in the Three of Swords, however that represents, uh, however that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh God, my mind, I'm having such a brain fart today. Um, uh, whatever the Three of Swords represents for you, however that resonates for you. Um, but she was able to rise above, and she may have said or done something that kind of got this King of Cups' attention, and now it feels like some sort of action is coming forward, potentially. I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. <laughs> this, is, this is really vague, in my, even in my own head. So I'm just... I'm doing my best here. All right. But it looks like there's some sort of movement here. Because look, you do have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. All right. So there's some sort of action activation. Someone feels really passionate about something. Someone really wants to move forward with something. Let's, let's clarify that a little bit. Now, also, hold on, before I go any further, you could have an energy which, in which if you're not really connecting with a specific counterpart in the physical, this is you balancing and integrating your own inner masculine and feminine energy. However, I feel like the change here is maybe for you, there was something that you were really compassionate or really passionate about or really found very emotionally fulfilling or really wanted to do. Um, but you never really allowed yourself to do so. I'm just getting a strong, very strong energy here with this King of Cups of taking some sort of action in terms of what your heart is really calling out for. Okay. All right. Let's look at the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. What? Let's look a little deeper at this here. What is this? What is this? Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Woo! Two of Pentacles. Overall energy of the Hermit. Okay, so we have the Hermit again. Uh, Virgo energy, sure. Um, we also have Taurus here with the Hierophant. We have Cancer with the Queen of Cups. We have Sagittarius with the uh, with Temperance. We also have Sagittarius with the Knight of Cups. We have Pisces with the with, I'm sorry, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands, Pisces with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio or Aries with the Tower. I mean, whatever. Just throwing those out there. Again, it, I don't even know why I say all that. It really doesn't matter. But Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, clarified by the Two of Pentacles with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. It's just, it's as if there is some sort of incentive or action to being taken here to bring greater balance into your life in the physical realm in terms of some things that you've learned about yourself. I'm hearing specifically about the nature of reality. 
the laws of the universe, how the how the, the universe really works, especially, okay, yeah, so we're going to move to this next, but especially with the, hang, the, the hanged man and the ace of swords. And it is, in fact, this side of the hanged man where we have the two individuals that were being indoctrinated by the hierophant are now seeing something differently they're actually seeing more of the truth that is available to them okay so it looks like so while you may be in an energy of needing to take some sort of action right maybe your heart is still a little bit guarded maybe you haven't fully led on to completely what your heart is looking for but in but you are absolutely inspired and motivated to to take this action because it's going to bring a greater sense of balance harmony and union into your life in the physical realms in, in, in a physical way excuse me okay okay yes this is good all right so finally i just want to get i just want to look at the higher, I'm sorry, the hanged man with the ace of swords. But you know what? I am going to change decks for this. Because I really, I really specifically want spirit's take. I don't want to just clarify the energies for you in terms of this right here, the, hang, the hanged man and the ace of swords. I really want spirit's take on this one. So we're going to go with the golden universal for that. Whatever, whatever spirit has to say about this energy. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, we have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have Temperance again. We also, we have quite a bit here. We have the top three cards I was, I was instructed to pull. The High Priestess, the Hanged Man again, and the Three of Cups. All right, so you know what this kind of feels like? This almost feels like a homecoming. Um, it's like you've broken free from the Matrix, Okay, you've broken free from the conformity, from the stagnancy, from being confined, from being held, from being suspended, from from being uh, from your mind being under the control of someone else, and you've opened up to the real truth, or you've at least opened up to accepting or starting to accept and integrate some deeper truth, some higher wisdom. Um, about yourself and the nature of reality and, and the universe and all that. And there's definitely a celebration here with the Three of Cups, with the universe saying, welcome back. Welcome back to us. And it's not a situation in which, you know, you have to say, oh, well, I can't believe I was ever there, blah, blah, blah. No, you were there for a reason. You were there to help yourself learn. And I heard specifically to learn through the contrast, because if you didn't experience the indoctrination that the hierophant represents right and the mind control the conformity the and all of that stuff then number one you wouldn't really value your freedom as much as you do now in this moment but number two you would really start to understand how important it is for to for you to maintain some sort of sense of sovereignty okay and to to maintain control and authority of your own power, your own well-being. You now really have a deeper understanding, even if you don't really fully grasp it, even if you're still trying to really wrap your mind around it, you, you, you now are aware of the fact that you do in fact create your reality and it is your responsibility and your birthright to maintain that and to continue to create, okay? Interesting, we do have the Nine of Swords here. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. And we do, in fact, have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the energy of being, uh, 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 of 
owning and maintaining your own sovereignty, okay? Now, there is in fact some sort of communication that desires to come through in terms of the, 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 the awakening, the, the change in perspective that someone has, uh, has achieved and, um, and the revelation or the clear view that is represent that 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 has brought for them and i'm putting temperance over here because actually temperance does go with this pile um in the sense of well you know what no because this three were pulled from the top this fell out and actually okay no temperance belongs over here um anyway uh, i'm sorry guys i'm kind of jumping all over the place the five of cups is um at the bottom of the deck that is an overall energy there is still some sort of fear nine of swords there's still some sort of fear regret shame remorse um that someone is experiencing here and i believe it could be this king of swords now this king of swords could be you um it could be i'm hearing it could be your divine counterpart it could be your divine masculine but this is the person that has come through this indoctrination phase yes and has made some sort of has has received or achieved some sort of sense of revelation and is coming out of the dark here um and is finding a new sense of freedom especially with this eagle on here right a new sense of freedom um so this king of swords here may really want to communicate something potentially your heart's desire okay you might even want really want to be like riding in like a like a, a knight in shining armor and yet you feel like you can't because of what has happened in the past seven of cups five of cups and yet i, f I really feel like i really feel like um, what you're missing here is the fact that this all had to happen anyway. Three of Wands. This is absolutely part of your path. If you didn't experience the things that you experienced in terms of this situation, so let's say with the, the, the first um, round of clarification that I pulled in which we got the King and the Queen of Cups, right? Let's just put this into perspective of divine counterparts. If you don't resonate with that, then just try and see how this could fit with you. But just hear me out, okay? Bear with me here. In terms of divine counterparts, and someone made an offer, and that offer wasn't taken because uh, there was too much external influence, there was too much societal influence, there was too much conformity, whatnot, whatever. There's too much of keeping with the status quo. And thus, both parties missed out. The feminine went through it first. She got her heart broken, seemingly, seemingly got her heart broken. Um, and, but then that led to, that catalyzed a whole healing process where she was able to rebuild her heart stronger than it was before. And then the masculine followed through and then he started to deal, started to deal with that heartbreak and started to realize that his heart was broken too. And then now all of a sudden you both, both of you are going through your healing process and you're now both at a more whole and healthy place than you were in the past. Well, if you didn't deal with all of that, then you wouldn't have been here. If you didn't deal with all of that, you wouldn't have, no, actually, let's go with this. You wouldn't have had this change in perspective, this change in your understanding, this change in the way you see things, okay? If you didn't experience all of that, you wouldn't gone through this awakening, God wouldn't have gone through this awakening process and come back to the truth of who you really are. Or at least, at least, started to come back to the truth some of you really are very fully aware or are a little more advanced in your awareness in terms of who we truly are as human beings who we truly are as spiritual entities or spiritual beings in this physical reality okay um, others of you are really just starting to begin to understand it but what many of you i feel like you're missing here is the fact that because you're so caught up you do because there's some sort of message that wants to be sent or there's some sort of action that wants to be taken in terms of what your heart truly desires here okay you're you're getting caught up in all of the shit all of the what ifs all of the possibilities maybe even all of some of the things from the past that may have created some sort of rift between you and someone else or may have 
created a really challenging experience or challenging circumstance for you when it comes to this in terms of this don't get caught up in that don't let spirit just said don't let the illusion blind you and that illusion is the illusion of the maya the illusion of physical reality because in to be quite honest guys this is all an illusion Everything you see in the external is, in fact, an illusion. The only truth, the only real truth, is what's going on internally. Now, some of you are saying, but wait a second. I've been learning lately that my internal reality cre is, a direct, is directly reflected into my external reality. Like, my internal reality creates my external reality. So, so how can my external reality be an illusion if it's a direct reflection of my internal reality. Well, because you can look at yourself as a hologram projector and the external reality is that projection of that hologram. That hologram is a direct reflection of what's going on within. So if you want to change the external, you have to change what's going on in with, within you. And there has been, especially with this hermit energy here, that did come out twice today. Okay, it came out in the pre-shuffle in the very beginning, and now it's coming out again in the, over, in the overall energy of a clarification. But some of you really are striving to have really been working on this or really need to start working on cleaning up all of the discrepancies that go on within you in order for your external reality to really be a truer, more accurate representation of what, who you truly are and what you truly stand for internally okay i hope that makes sense but yes everything out here this is all an illusion it all can be changed it all can be reshaped you know i mean we don't necessarily have the full access to all the technology that could really manipulate our physical reality but we still have the internal technology that we are awakening to right now makes sense and thus we have Temperance, rebalancing, re-alchemizing. Also patience. There's still in, there's a, there's a strong message of patience that's coming through with this temperance energy. Because yes, you are in this King of Swords energy. Okay, you do see something clearer than you've ever seen it before. You have you have you are in an energy of looking at something objectively. All right, um, but there's still but there's still a process to this. Okay, there are still some things that need to that need to heal or shift or grow or maybe transform but you do have the nine of pentacles to the nine of cups both of these cards are very rewarding cards the nine of pentacles does talk about sovereignty and being independent being your own person being uh, uh, uh um very independent and receiving the rewards reaping the rewards for work well done the nine of cups is about satisfaction okay I'm also hearing very being very grounded in the truth of who you are and being very happy with who you are and how far you've come maybe okay so the, mm, you do have three nines i just i just recognize that you have three nines here from 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 which is a direct message from spirit like this is spirit's take right now with the golden universal tarot okay this is what spirit is saying to you about this so don't worry things are coming to an end all right, something is really coming to a close here. Nine, nine, nine. This is a number of completion of, of endings. Okay, so some things are coming to an end. And I feel like the nine of swords here is mostly you looking off into the future saying, oh God, oh God, is this going to happen? When is this coming? Blah, blah, blah. What does this mean? These things are coming to an end. What do I do? What do I do? Relax. Everything, as Spirit is saying, everything will come in due time. And... Everything that you receive will be directly in direct alignment with you and will be reward for all of the hard work and the soul searching you've been doing, okay? Beautimus, let's close out our session today with your Oracle Guidance. Oracle Guidance is coming from the Lightworker Oracle deck.
closing oracle guidance, please, spirit. Not that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. But I'm going to take this one. Yes? Sure. Okay, why not? Um, this one. Card number... Oh, jeez. Look at that, you guys. This is card number nine. Look at that. So now you have four nines on the table. Nine, 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 nine. And in this deck, card number nine is Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. That's really beautiful. And actually, you know what? That actually makes a whole lot of sense because with this Ace of Swords here, you have that eagle, right? And the eagle represents feminine energy, whereas a hawk, well, at least an eagle has come to represent or symbolize feminine energy and the hawk has come to represent or symbolize masculine energy, okay? But what I was seeing here with this Ace of Swords, and I should have said it, but I, I just didn't, it just didn't come out, but... A lot of this revelation, a lot of this change, a lot of this newfound freedom is influenced by the rise of the divine feminine energies. As the feminine rises, it liberates everyone and everything because the, the feminine really, really represents or really resonates with and demands auth uh, autonomy and um, integrity and authenticity authenticity the most and which is which is indicative of the empress energy in the major arcana in which she represents the divine feminine but she represents the unconditionally loving and nurturing mother and yes she can be seen i say this all the time but yes she can be seen as some somewhat of an, an enabler sometimes but that's really just because she loves unconditionally and she just wants her her children her friends her family her subjects the, the, the people within her domain she just wants them to be happy and she wants them to be happy as they are she wants them she wants to provide them with the opportunity to express themselves in the way that they naturally do in the way that comes best that that comes naturally to them okay so we have the feminine rep uh, here influencing some sort of change in perspective as she's on the rise right as she liberates herself she then helps to liberate everyone else that is ready to do so and thus our oracle guidance today is wisdom of the divine feminine that's really beautiful. So let's read it. And, I mean, you could go back. You could go back to where we were talking about the king and the queen of cups over here, right? The feminine got her heart broken first because the feminine is the one that really <laughs> came, came forward like a bat out of hell, y'all. Like straight up wrecking ball style like go ahead and call her my miley cyrus because that bitch came in like a motherfucking wrecking ball <laughs> okay and which was necessary for her own healing and for the healing of the masculine ultimately but she came through she busts some shit up she got her heart broken but then she healed and as she healed and as she pulled herself back together as she declared her independence and, and 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 her autonomy and she stood on her own two feet she influenced the masculine to do so and thus we have the king of swords here now seeing something clearer than you ever have before seeing something objectively okay it's really beautiful that is so beautiful guys all right so card number nine wisdom of the divine feminine Divine Feminine Wisdom empowers you to grow into your vision, your dreams, and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Perhaps you envision a very different life for yourself to what you are experiencing now. This wisdom reminds you that you can experience even the most extraordinary dreams as reality if you are willing to grow into what you desire to become what you seek. Surrender any plans about how you can best manifest your dreams and instead allow life to guide and nourish you through your experiences each day. The universe supports your divine destiny and it is helping you become all you are meant to be. I really want to read the rest of this card here um, just because I feel like it would be really, really important. So I'm going to read it. So bear with me, guys. We're, we're, gonna, we're probably going to go for like another five minutes or so. 
When the wisdom of the divine feminine reaches you, the message is clear. You are in a process of becoming more of heaven on earth. Sometimes there are growing pains along the, alongside the joy such growth brings. You may feel concerned, thinking your pain is an indication that you are failing in some way. You may judge your suffering as a sign that you are not operating at a, quote, high enough frequency. Yet how many spiritual masters upon this planet have endured great suffering as well as experiencing tremendous love and joy in the fulfillment of their divine destiny? Growing pains are just part of the feminine path of creation, of breaking through what has become too small for you. There is joy in the eventual freedom, but the act of breaking through can feel painful at times. In other words, birthing pains, right? When things are difficult or you are feeling doubt, when you feel the need to do something that scares you and challenges you at the depths of your being, you are experiencing growing pains. They will pass and you will benefit from the growth. However, you need to know that whilst this difficulty is in your life, the divine is very much with you, encouraging you, believing in you so, that, so much that it will deliver a tough lesson. You can handle it for however long it needs to continue and that won't be forever. This, or this oracle also brings you a message about how much the divine feminine loves you and wants to help you grow with the least struggle and the most peace. If you don't listen to her, instead choosing to believe in fear, you may be terrified of your growing pains. You won't be sure if they will ever end. You may doubt your ability to turn adversity into triumph. You may lose faith instead of trusting that life has your best interests at heart and that you are capable of meeting any challenge that arises. Instead of trusting, you may believe the world isn't safe. This can keep you paralyzed in self-defeating, self-harming patterns. While these may give you a temporary familiar satisfaction, ultimately these patterns mean you will continue to struggle and suffer under the weight of addiction or emotional pain. You deserve so much better than that. The Divine Feminine speaks to you now and promises that if you are willing to show up, uh, show up to your life each day and trust in the circumstances before you, she will guide you into your most beautiful divine destiny. It is safe to trust her. She wants for you only the best and most powerful life journey, one perfectly suited for all that you are and all that you can be. Your heart beats in perfect rhythm with your heart of love, I'm sorry, with the heart of love at the center of our universe. Trust your heart and trust life. All is progressing beautifully as you are guided even deeper into your divine fulfillment. I wanna share this invocation for any of you that um, would benefit from it, but I also wanna share this because I want you to see what's next after the, wis the, the wisdom, yeah, after the wisdom of the divine feminine, you have card number 10, the power of the divine masculine. That's really cool. But I do wanna share this invocation for you. So if you wanna say that, you can pause right here and you can go ahead and uh, read through that. Um, and also, if any of you are interested in reading The Power of the Divine Masculine, you have that here. Especially since we're in this energy of, um, so I guess this is a double oracle message, but especially since we're in this energy of balancing and integrating masculine and feminine here, um, I feel like this would be a really good thing to read. So you can pause there and then here's the other page. Oh, look, and, and after that is 11.11. Good Lord, you guys. Okay, so if you want to read through those, you can just pause the videos there. Um, I don't normally do that for morning coffee and everything like that, but I feel like it was really important. So I'll just go ahead and do it. Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys so very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. Hee <laughs> hee